Right, I've got a Razer 24 volt go cut here, and today I'm going to show you how I install my solar panel here to power my go cut. Alright, let me show you what I've done here. Um, in I also show this in my previous uh, video. If you want to watch it, uh, just click click on the link below. And this go cut used to have two lead acid batteries. And these batteries weigh really heavy. I replaced the batteries with these cordless two batteries. So this is the 24 volt lithium ion battery from uh, a cordless tool. It's made by Cobalt and it is one of the newest uh, batteries on the market. And it weighs a lot less. These two pack here probably weigh about ten times as much as this. And the battery is also smaller too. And I have modified the wiring so that I can have the two metal clips here and the wire used to be uh, these two wires used to go to the lead acid battery pack it only has a positive and negative wire I saw the two metal clip onto the wire and all I have to do now is just to insert into the slot here on the battery <coughs> we got the positive and negative slots and all I have to do is to insert the clips into the slots here like so and I'm good to go let me turn it on show you Let's see lights on the relay just clicked as you can hear from the, uh, the sound and there you go so that's how it works now I want to use my two solar panels I have two 12 volt solar panels here and I want to use my solar panel to power uh, to charge the battery on the go so I don't I don't have to replace the battery anymore alright so let me show you what I've done here this is the cover it used to be the cover on the back of the go-kart and uh, I have installed two aluminum L bracket okay so I put two screw on here two on the other side to secure the two brackets on here and I also install the charge controller for the solar panel and now all I have to do is just secure this onto here I also install a piece of wood on here so that I can secure this uh, plastic cover on top of it. This cover used to be all the way down there but uh, it is a pain in the butt. It's really tight to push it all the way in there so uh, I raise the cover on like this much and then put a piece of wood on here so it makes it easier for me to uh, put it in and out so that I can assess the battery if I need to replace the battery so all I have to do now is to uh, put the solar panel on top of the aluminum rack here and uh, install my wire to the charge controller and I'm good to go by the way this charge controller is a 20 amp 12 volt or 24 volt charge controller and it's used for lead acid batteries only but there's a secret this charge controller is that it can be adjustable so you can use it in the lithium ion battery instead and I will make a separate video to show you how it, I uh, did that and also the charge controller has a LCD screen that shows the voltage of the battery so I will know at any time my uh, state of charge of my battery let me show you the wiring here it's pretty simple nothing complicated uh, got the two wires going to the battery positive and negative in here I got a connection of three pairs you can see 
one is negative, one is positive. And the reason why I got three wires coming in here is because one wire go to the switch, one wire go to the battery itself, and one wire go out to the charge controller. I have made the connector, this connector, for me to be uh, connecting to the charge controller easily by just you know plugging and unplugging instead of just every time I have to do a hard wire and uh, I will make a uh, separate uh, um, schematics to show you how I I do this All right, I think I'm done here I got a couple of solar panels uh, on the back here and uh, each panel is 12 volt so two panels connected in series to produce 24 volt and the way I mount the solar panel Ah, it's so sticky. Let's use Velcro. Stick it on here like so. It's not going anywhere. Uh, let me show you my charge controller. So right now everything is connected. And you can see it's charging. The blinking arrow means it's charging the battery right now. And right now the battery is at 24 volts. So with this LCD screen, I will know exactly what is the state of charge of the battery. Alright, let's see if it works. Very good. So right now I can, I can charge the battery at the same time I uh, while I'm using the go-kart. Let's try it. One, two, three, go! That was fun. And I was on this go kart which uses the 20 volts, my uh, 20 volt lithium ion uh, cordless tool battery. And because maybe because it's 20 volts, it's a little bit slower than this one, which is 24 volts. It uses this kind of battery. And so the battery is still inside here. You can see the blue part right there, and then it's come, uh, the two wires coming out of it. And uh, I had a hard time keep up with this go kart right here. So, or maybe you know, uh, because I'm just too fat on this go kart. So basically, I have two. 10 watts solar panel, so each panel is 10 watts, so total of 20 watts, and at 24 volts, so it is 20 watt hour, so every hour I get 20 watts from the sun, and this battery here I have, it is 2 amp hour, 2 amp hour, right here, and at 24 volts, so this battery here is 48 watt hour. My panel is 20 watt hour. So in order to fully charge that battery, I need about two and a half hours to fully charge this battery. So that is pretty good. I mean, I can still charge the battery when I'm using the go kart at the same time. There you have it, the world's first solar powered go kart, powered by nothing but the sun and a single lithium ion cordless tool battery. And the solar panel on the back looks cool too. Looks like a spoiler from a Formula One race car, doesn't it? Maybe not. 
right folks and uh, that's all I have for now till next time and thank you for watching